In this tutorial, we're going to examine the Impact Tool extension within CorelDRAW. The Impact Tool extension lets you create graphic effects in a style inspired by comic books and contemporary illustration. Such effects are perfect for adding impact, movement, or focus to designs or illustrations. Two effects styles are available, Radial and Parallel. I'll select my Impact Tool from the toolbox. And under the interactive property bar, you can see a parallel as well as radial. I'm going to select the radial. I'll left click in the center of my page and I'm going to create the effect. Now, on the interactive property bar, these two icons allow me to create an inner and outer boundary. We'll take a look at those shortly. I can set the angle of rotation. However, this is typically used for parallel. Then I have start and end points. When I click this, you can see that I have a random start point, and I'll turn this off. All lines will emanate from the center. I can also set a random end point for this. Let me turn this off. Here we have the ability to set the line width. I'm going to leave this at 0 0.001, and I'm going to change this to 0.1. Next, I have the ability to add the number of steps. I'll set this at 8. And now that I have that set to 8, you'll notice that each set has 8 steps within it. And they are varying from 0 0.001 to 0 0.1. This allows me to randomize the order of the width. I'll leave that as it is. Next, I can change the line spacing between them. I'm going to set this to 2.0 and 2.0 and here I can set the spacing steps. I'll leave that just as it is. This next option gives me the ability to set the line styles and as you can see I can select one of four different styles. I'm going to change this style to the second one down and this 85, that represents the widest point within that line. It's at 85% of the line. So you'll see that if I change this down to, let's say, 50%, that's going to change where my widest point on the line is. Let me put that back to 85%. And now we'll take a look at these two options here. I'm going to start by importing a graphic image. I'll pick up my dancer and click import. And now I'm just going to click and drag and put him in the center of this object. Now again, I can tap the letter P to position that to the center of the page. I want to make sure that my impact object is also on the center of the page. So again, tap the letter P. Now that my object is selected, clicking on this icon allows me to create an inner boundary. Note the cursor I have. I'm going to simply click on this object and that's going to trim for me. I'll deselect my impact object, select my dancer, and delete. And so that's the type of effect we can create using the inner boundary. Let's take a look at the outer boundary now. I'm going to go on to the next page. I'll create another radial impact object. And I'm going to set the same settings as last time. So we're going to make this 0.1. I'll change this one to, let's go 10 this time. I'm going to set my line spacing to 2 and 2. And we leave the line style as it is. Now I'm going to select a perfect shape. So from my toolbox on the left-hand side, I'll select basic shapes and I'm going to select the heart. Left click and drag and I'll create the heart on my page. Let's give this a different color just to make it easier to see. And I'll tap the letter P on the keyboard to position that in the center. I want to make sure that this is center so I'll tap the letter P for my impact object as well. And now from the interactive property bar, I'm going to select outer boundary. I'll click on this icon, come over here with this cursor, click on the heart, and you can see that it'll automatically remove the object 
from around the outer perimeter of this. I'm going to select my heart and delete it. And the final thing I want to do with this is simply change the color. So I'll left click on the red. Okay, now let's take a look at the parallel impact tool. From my toolbox on the left hand side, I'm going to select my impact tool. On the interactive property bar, I'm going to select parallel. Now with this tool, simply a matter of left clicking and dragging, and I can create either a rectangle, a square. I'll create my shape. Tap the letter P to go to the center of the page. For this one, I want to make my beginning and my end random. I'm going to change the angle of rotation on this to 22. And I'm going to set this line style. And let's make this at 50%. Okay. Now it's just a matter of importing my graphic image that I want to put down on top of that. And that's going to add the effect or the impact to my image for me. And we'll grab the cool dude. Click Import. And with my import cursor, I can drag to the size that I want that. I'll let the mouse button go, and there we have it. Very quick and very easy to add impact and effects to your documents using the impact tool. That brings us to the end of this short tutorial on the impact tool. If you found this tutorial on YouTube while searching for training content, be sure to head on over to the Discovery Center at learn.corel.com for more equally informative videos.